Hi, welcome. Mr. Green in the library here. Uh, we're doing a video tutorial on how to use Make Believe Comics. It's an online comic creator that allows you to add clip art, background, uh, thought bubbles, characters, talk bubbles, and you're able to create this and, and you're able to print it out or you can also email the comic that you make. So let's get started. This is the home page of Make Believe Comics. When you enter there, all you're going to do is click uh, enter here. And at that point, you, you have your uh, comic panels, and you have your buttons or your controls. You have your selection window. You have your characters. And then you have all your care, uh, clip art right here and backgrounds and so forth. You can choose between a two-panel or a three-panel, and, and then also you have an option for a four-panel. But for this demonstration, we're going to go with a two-panel. Uh, things to be aware of, first thing is they should have a name for your comic. What, what's your uh, message or your idea or wh what are you going to call it? And then, of course, the uh, your name or the author's name, if it's a collaborative or not. Um, so let's just jump in with some of the... Um, some of the characters first. We'll jump with characters. I think the characters and the tools uh, really go hand in hand. So we're going to choose, um, we have a scroll bar here. And let's see if we can find Abe Lincoln. So there it goes, Abe. So we have Abe. I want to add Abe into my into my first panel. However, I don't want him facing to the left. I actually want him facing to the right. So we can flip flop him. Now, once we flip-flop, I want to move him over a little bit more. We need to go back to the move control to move the character. Because if we left him on the flip control, and then we're trying to flip, trying to move him, it's, it's not going to work. So we have him facing the opposite direction. Uh, now, the next panel is that we want to add maybe some, I don't know, maybe some, some clip art. Let's put in that clip art. Yeah, we'll put in some clip art. So uh, I want to add... Oh, let's add a bicycle, and I tell you what, let's add in our friend Abe again. But this time we have Abe's a little too sullen. What they do is they give you an opportunity to change the um, the emotion of your characters. And I think we're going to get Abe right here. And I want to move Abe right here. And I want to move my other character right here. And actually, I want to scale this bicycle. So we're going to click Scale. We're going to make this bicycle smaller. And we're going to click back on our move. We're going to move Abe up a little bit more. And let's give uh, Abe a, a thought bubble. And I want to make it a small one. Let's choose that. And we're going to move this guy up. Oops. There he goes. Okay. What could this be? So Abe is discussing whether what is this uh, object right here. So we, we have uh, a little bit of dialogue. We have some characters. Um, now I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually add, add something called the panel prompt. And now let's go over here to our third. And we're going to click the next day. And then, of course, let's choose Abe again. And let's add him in there the next day. He just finished writing the Gettysburg Address. Who knows? But there's a lot of different things you can you can do to manipulate your characters. And again, here's Abe. I want to make Abe a little larger. We want to scale. We want to make him bigger. Click up. Uh, I want to flip him. I want him to go the other way. I want to move him back a little bit. There we go. And actually, look what happens here. Let me show you. See how like he's blocking this? So really what I want to do is I want this to be on, on front of that. So we are going to do something called bring to front. And then we're going to click this right here. The next day. So that's how the bring to front uh, feature works. Um, so that's just sort of a quick tutorial of how this is all put together. When you're done... And you, 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 or if you want to edit things or you want to see what it's going to look like, you're not going to print it, print it from here, which some people mistake. And you're going to click your next. And of course, now review. You can go back and edit. You can create a new comic. If you want to print, you can print it. If you want to email it, you can also email it so that you have a lot of different options. And again, Make Believe Comics, this comic creator is only one part of Make Believe Comics. There are so many other things that go along with it. So, have some fun with Make Believe Comics. 
thanks for sticking around for my tutorial it's a great website there's so much to offer other than the, the comic creator but the comic creator is a, always a great place to start and it's a lot of fun so this is mr green in the library thanks for uh tuning in and have fun with this one